What is going on, Lunatics? Luna Classic just broke out. It's having a nice run right now. Uh, we're at a high that we haven't seen since April of this past year. And awesome, right? We're, we're super happy to see that happen. But we got to talk about a few things that are breaking down right now in governance, in everywhere. I'm going to show you something. And then I'm going to ask you, are you delegating with the right people are they taking care of you? Are they transparent? These are questions that you're going to have to ask yourself. I'm going to show you some evidence. I'm not going to indict anybody, but I'm going to point it out. And it's something that I saw the other day and it just kind of stuck with me. So if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button on the way in. Binance has another update on Terra Luna Classic. Um, the move, we're up 12% on the day. All of the dingbats that said in my chat for the last couple of days and say, I don't think it's going to go anywhere. I don't think it's always done. Nobody's going to think going to pump it dead, okay? And that's the way you sound in my head, you dingbat. Um, you were wrong. And guess who was right? This guy. All right, so let's kick it off without further ado. All right, guys, so you can see from this chart right now uh, that we've broken out and we're filling in this candle right now and it's at three zeros, 16, two right now. And I gave you the range right here and I said the likely play out was a move to this range. Now, what I told you was, and I think there's some consolidation in this range that's going to happen. And yesterday I told you, but I don't know. I don't know because things are complicated. I mean, you know, the market wants what the market wants. And, you know, do we see an altcoin breakout? Do we see an altcoin season? Well, we started to see it and we're getting this nice big pump. So, uh, first of all, make sure that you're taking your profit along the way. Uh, I don't think that it's going to come back down tr too dramatically. Anything can happen in this market. You never know, uh, you know, what the end result here is. Okay. But, if we come out, remember, long term, and that's what we're looking at is we're looking at this from a long term and we're using the previous dump that we had before to create this basic fib retracement with it saying that the next big move was going to be up here into uh, the 236, which was three zeros, 18070. And guess what? We're not exactly there yet but we're getting right to that range. So nothing fundamentally has changed. Uh, the volume node just really kind of right there at the 236, okay? So the next step is what do we do as a consolidation from there? And then do we continue our breakout? And if we continue our breakout, how high does it go? And I told you guys before, there's about a 10X in the chamber here, uh, taking us to two zeros, uh, one, uh, what is the number here? Uh, two zeros, one, four, seven. So we're not there but we're starting to have a nice big uh, recovery and it looks great to see. I do think we're gonna run into a little bit of resistance. That resistance is going to be right here on this line. It's 17, basically 18. So three zeros, 18 is where we run into the first level of resistance, but the biggest one is this long-standing trend line. This, this trend line comes from 2022 and all the way down here. So I think that in the event that we continue a pump, we are going to have a little bit of a problem. Let me remove that arrow and say that, you know, this right here at 302 is gonna be the next spot where we probably get a lot of fighting going on. Now we're in the bull phase of this market, or at least we're in the, you know, pre-bull before we get to the golden bull. So, you know, we get here, and the likelihood is a drop back down into this range, but a breakout above it puts us into this golden zone right here, uh, which is in the threes. And then that leads to another big breakout. So that's what's going on with the charts. That's how it looks right now. The market, the overall and broader market down uh, significantly, $65 billion today. That could get bought up in the next couple of hours, but I don't know that it will or will not. Luna Classic breaking out no matter what. So. Uh, now let's talk about some problems. And guys, I want to stress this. There are some problems in the ecosystems here that that you know we 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 rely on validators to do their job. Validators put out governance. And I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you the other day. You know, I had a problem with it, and I didn't say too much about it, but I said that I had a problem. And it was uh, there was something going on with Happy Caddy Crypto talking about 
other people um, it may be needing to be jailed or disagreeing with them fundamentally. Um, a lot of different things that were happening over here, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you something and you're not going to like it. If you're a happy caddy crypto fan, you're not going to like it. Uh, matter of fact, but here's the thing. This is not about Happy Caddy Crypto. He's just my example uh, when I've had a problem with people. Here is my problem. We had a proposition a while back. And you know what? I'm going to put it on pause for just a moment. And I'm going to show you what happened over here. Terra Luna Classic price could soar after burning $1.34 billion. Uh, and, you know, look, this is a bigger amount than we've seen for a while. So far, 390 billion tokens have been destroyed, leaving $6.51 trillion. Long staking ratio has also risen from its 2022 low and is now approaching 16%, indicating that many investors believe in the asset's potential. So, bottom of the chart over here. Uh, now, technical indicators show that token could rise to... 302, which I just gave you a few moments ago, which is about 75% higher than the current level, and it's already breaking out at this point, going to that level. Now, let's get into the important part here. All right, guys, a while back, this is December of 2023, okay? And this is important, okay? We voted on a proposal. That proposal was to create a new Commonwealth Forum with the purpose of the Commonwealth Forum that the validators would hold open discussion about what is going on in Luna Class, in the ecosystem, that the validators would communicate effectively with you through Commonwealth in order to do that. That is a proposal 11947, create official community Commonwealth platform, is up for voting on the station wallet. It wants to gauge community sentiment on establishing an official community-led Commonwealth platform similar to other items such as station wallet apps and infrastructure. Now, the question at that point is, well, you know, what are these people going to do? I mean, like, are they, are they going to build in silence where nobody knows what's going on or are they going to be open about stuff, right? Well, the idea was to be open about it. Um, some members of the community have expressed reluctance to utilize the existing platform and had disputes with the moderators. This is over uh, previous, right? And it claims that despite the attempts to improve the existing platform, there's been no measurable improvement. Now, uh, just to, to, to be clear here, what ended up happening is we passed 11.947, which meant from that point on that if validators were going to have discussions, they were open discussions or they, they, were, they were meant to be open discussions, and that would be where this is the way things are. Okay, this is the way things are. Now, what ends up happening? Well, let's go over here and let's remember a couple of things. First of all, how many validators do we have? Now, the Tarad client is, is there is a proposal up, and this is a prop uh, 12148 from Strathcole upgrading Tarad to 3.3.0, right? So here is all of them. This is all nodes, Orion, Interstellar, Interstate, KuCoin, Happy Caddy, Jesus is Lord, one and two, Luna Station, Lunk Live, Moonshot, Stakely, Community First. These are all of them. There's what, 120 or 107 current validators? So we have a lot of validators, right? So let me introduce you to, and by the way, make sure that you vote uh, for the Tarad client. This is Commonwealth, okay? Now, I bring you to this almost every day to have discussion. And one thing that I've noticed is there's no discussions. There's barely anything going on. Now, let's talk about this. Uh, Lunk and UST lost in the Cosmos analysis of social data for the past year. This is where I gave you yesterday what it looks like. I'm going to show you something. Validators just don't seem to care about any of these stats. They're not making any comments about it. So what is going on there, right? Uh, but let's not, no, maybe we should, maybe it's just us, okay? I say it's 107 validators. So there's a proposal for Terra Classic dashboard update, right? There's two comments. So the validators are not talking. I wonder who the commenters are, all right? Let's go see. Which uh, Lunk Rocket, which we know, um, and Paco Paco um, 2, out of, I mean, I assume that Paco Paco is a validator and not just somebody who makes comments like me, uh, but um, Lunk Rocket, we know, is a validator. So we've got one validator out of 107 current validators, if I got that number right. So over 100. So over, over 100 validators, nobody cares about this vote. Uh, I mean, you know, what's happening? Uh, but let's go down. Let's, let's Terra Classic, Ledger, live integration, no comments. Poor but decentralized. One comment. Uh, Vegas, uh, request for coin market cap dashboard access transfer to all nodes. One comment. Um, direct request to coin market cap for access to Terra Classic dashboards. Seven comments. But let's go look at the seven comments. Who were they? Uh, it was Vegas. It was Rex YZ. It was Lunk Rocket. These are the validators that look. 
These are part of the people that I talk about all the time, right? These are these are the people. So keep going down here. I don't know who is. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm just going to say it. Brian Anderson. Um, and, and then Cat with Hat, which doesn't have a validator, but is still part, is still a project. So um, uh, there seems the good folks at Cryptonomy.finance are handing me incredible rewards. Let me show you what I'm about to earn. I put in 25 Solana. I'm about to earn 24 Solana on December 26, the day after Christmas. Merry Christmas to me. Folks, it gets even better. On February 10 of 2025, I'm going to earn 0.17 Bitcoin, currently valued a little bit over $11,000. Folks, I gave them Tether. I gave them 1670 I'm going to get 1336 as my reward. All you have to do is sign up at cryptonomy.finance and listen. The important piece, the important piece is the launch pool. If you set up a staking contract with this launch pool, you're going to get rewarded based on a 9x from Shieldium, based on a 6x from World of Dippians, a 5x from Kima Network, a 5x from RWA. These are significant yields being earned on a daily basis by this team. My first contract completed a while back on November 21, and I earned a total income of 168,000 481 of which my income off of this in a 50 50 split eighty four thousand two hundred and forty one dollars folks the bull run is here all you have to do is now sit back stake your crypto and earn rewards don't forget down in the description below are the links to the telegram the links to all of the socials including twitter links to information and news websites sponsored by cryptonomy.finance and article sites for myself and several other influencers so go check them out today to be nobody communicating with you nobody working with you out in the open to let you know what's going on in commonwealth except what is it lunk rocket or xyz vegas and, and people complain about this. People complain and say, oh, you know, oh, they're, they're all these back dealings and stuff like that. And we don't know what's going on, blah, 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 blah. Well, this is a problem. Now, you should be validating and you should be staking with people who you trust, who are open with you about what's going on. By the way, am I saying that Lunk Rocket and all these guys are doing everything out in the open? I am not. We're in a culture right now where, you know, a lot of this is done through Telegram and there's validator chats and stuff like that. Uh, but we're supposed to be having these conversations on Commonwealth so that you know what's going on, so that I know what's going on, so that I can talk to you daily about what's going on, about the decisions that are made. Uh, we've got a proposal for a repeg from Ceramic that's uh, being being brought to you by Leonardo, and it's going to come up for Commonwealth for discussion. It's on X right now, but it's my understanding there's about four or five other repeg proposals, none of which are being discussed over here actively by anybody. So why don't you validate, if you choose... Why don't you validate with people who are having open discussions on Commonwealth, and why don't we start holding these validators accountable? By the way, I don't see any happy caddy crypto on here at all, by the way. Remember, the validators are supposed to, in my opinion, and look, if I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong. The validators are supposed to be having open communications and open discussions with you about proposals or about governance, and they're supposed to have an opinion on stuff. So just ask yourself, is that true? Have they given you, and if they have no opinion on anything, why are we delegating to them? Jesus says, Lord isn't in here at all. So, uh, and, and have they all posted? I think you've, you might see a post or two. Like, it, it, you know, there is, uh, there, I shouldn't say that there's no, uh, no comments at all. There's just not very many. I mean, you go down here and you can find uh, uh, proposal after proposal after proposal. Um, two comments. Um, next one, 15 comments. This is adjusting the burn tax distribution. Um, 15 comments right here. Remember, 107 validators. Uh, nobody cares or nobody, you know, nobody wants you to know their opinion. What are we doing governance for if people aren't following the governance? And why are we giving our money to the validators who are ignoring the governance? By the way, that's exactly what people were telling you before. Remember, again, we had a conversation here about this very thing. It was a different context because it was something like, um, uh, I think Happy Caddy wanted to have some people jailed uh, for not doing things the way that governance said. So what are we doing? We should be giving our money for staking purposes to validators who are open and transparent and doing things out in the open 
Isn't that the way it's supposed to be? So, I, and I can't tell you what to do, okay? I can tell you what I think you should be doing, not what you should be doing, what I think you should be doing. So I think you should be uh, validating with people who are open and transparent with you or as open and transparent as possible. Now look, just because you have the seed of an idea doesn't mean that everybody gets to uh, gets gets to have it. There, there there should be a steering committee of some sort. There should be a couple things that we don't currently have. So there there should be layers to it. But just like the Commonwealth, just just like the proposal here for ceramic to do a repeg, you know, there's different layers to this, and eventually it comes to Commonwealth for discussion. Well, I expect to see 107 different comments from 107 different validators having their opinion known about it, not just voting. There should be open discussion, and we should know why people are or are not, uh, why are they opposed to it, why are they for it, all of that, right? We're not getting that. So, again, you validate with whomever you want, but it is my opinion that if they're not participating, what are you doing? It's my opinion. Anyway, let's move on. Now, full disclosure... Um, I mean, you know, price really spiked in the last 24 hours. Juris Protocol's up 33%. Terra's up 10%. Garuda's up 37%. Uh, there's a lot going on over here, okay? The Terra wallet is now 1395 Remember, it's been about 800 900 so really kind of pumping a little bit. Uh, food is at 132.78. Shout out to Food Token. Cat with Hat is at 118 Juris Protocol's at 106 Garuda X is at 95 The boys is broken back out to 90 So we're starting to get some value creeping back into this chain um, by virtue of all of these meme coins. So this is a really good um, this is a really good moment here to see that you know all of these uh, cryptos are starting to have just tiny breakouts. And by the way, we're just at the beginning of this. This is not we're not at the end of it. This is the beginning. So the, these breakouts are going to be very real long term. This is just the start, okay? So I wouldn't worry about what's in my wallet right now. I'm just showing you because I want to be transparent and open. Uh, not posting it on Commonwealth though because I'm not a validator. Uh, so anyway, um, real quick, we'll move over here to USTC. USTC also broke out about 5% right now. Now again, I don't have too much of a prediction. My predictions don't work really uh, so much over here because I'm not as into this one as some other people but you can see the trend line here is for a breakout like we have broken out uh, we had this descending trend line over here it broke out it came back through then it broke out again then it back tested successfully and then it moved on and then we consolidated in this last little range right here uh, you know let's take a moment and let's clean off the chart just a little bit and uh, let's um, Let's see, what does it look like if we do a basic Fib retracement? Get an idea, since all of this stuff has kind of played its way out, we'll get an idea of where we're going to go from here. All right. Uh, so, uh, basically, what we're looking for is a spot where uh, you know we have uh, a, an opportunity for the, the biggest move, right? This goes back into the last market. And, and look, I don't know if this is a fair assessment of this market right here. I think this little area right here actually is more representative of the last impulse, the big impulse move. This is a bigger impulse move. So we're going to go with that for the moment. And we're just going to bring this out right now and say that's <clears throat> that's kind of the level, right? So where do we expect to go uh, next? Well, if we're successfully testing, and by the way, you'll notice here uh, very specifically that the 786, the line that we have right now, the 786 line, we're going to lock that into place, by the way. Um, we'll zoom in and guess where we're fighting. There's that 786 line, and we are fighting our way along that 786, but we've just broken out. So in the next little while, in the event that this is a good breakout and that we're on our way up, then I would consider that the next impulse move is going to take us up here over the next couple days to four cents, and then we would have another breakout taking us through five cents, and then we got to discuss getting back to that all-time high. Now, in the event that that all-time high is on the chart, which by the way is ten cents, which is the prediction that I gave you through the end of the year, that if we get a breakout to ten cents, then that will be confirmation and validation that um, you know all of this that's played out so far is valid. Now, here's the thing. What I tell you guys, if you watch me on all of my shows and, and talk about it, then, then what the meta is, is a move up, right? And then a retest back down into these lower levels. And by the way, I think the 786 level, this broke down below it, but hear me out. Then the next impulse move was to the 236 level. And then that created 
this trend line going down right here, okay? Now, the next thing from there is a retest of the bottom zone, which it did, and then a breakout and back up to test the top and then a breakout. A successful breakout right now, perfect breakout, gives you a couple of numbers. Uh, number one, 25 cents for USTC. If you want 25 cent USTC, type it in the comments down below, but 25 cents right there, a crazy number. And then if you get the perfect breakout, which is the negative, which is the four, uh, 423.6, that's going to be 50.5 cents. So we're talking about 25 and 50 cents with a successful breakout on USTC. And by the way, when we're talking about it, we're, you know, the repeg, all those kind of things are going to have to happen. So that's what you've got going on. By the way, the breakout is not along with Luna. Luna seems to have cooled off just a little bit. I gave you a prediction, by the way, of $17 for Luna by the end of the year because I thought there was going to be some vindication and validation of what Duquan was doing earlier in the year. And boy, did I get that wrong. He was a criminal and a crook. Um, and he was deceptive and deceiving of each and every one of us and you, every investor here. Um, what a dirtbag. That's all I'm saying. What a dirtbag. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, get rid of that one because that pick is not going to fly right there. Uh, so we'll close that out. We have no prediction anymore for Luna. Um, so uh, volume, 283 million in volume. And by the way, 24-hour volume here on Binance, 84 million, which means that we're going to have a huge amount of burn, I think, if we can maintain this sort of momentum. If this is... Uh, if, if we're going to continue on, then this is going to be uh, it's going to be awesome. Uh, 57 million in USTC volume, not getting significant burns off of that, but um, you know to see it actually playing out, that's a pretty good sign. Uh, Three billion burned over the last little while. Uh, stake bin, let's come over here and look. We had 100 million burned yesterday. We got 51.9 million burned again today. We are seeing a significant, significant uptick in burns. Not seeing that apply to USTC yet. Uh, Going back over here and looking at the top wallet holders, uh, 2.146 trillion in the Binance hot wallet, which means it's up 13 billion over the last couple of days. A lot of that might be some of that staking that's been coming out. Uh, USTC, uh, LFG still holding 1.8 billion. Terraform Labs still holding 290 million. Unless Cappy Caddy Crypto was wrong about something, in which case, um, you know, I, I would certainly question that. Now, whew, let's close this shit out. All right, all right. So if you haven't already. Uh, Black Friday special up to 90% discount with Terra Casino. Uh, also, Wild Spin is available for you right now uh, in partnership with Platypus. Season 3 of the World Poker League is out right now. Uh, 2 million euros in giveaways up until December 22nd. you got 19 days left for that. And um, you can use, I mean, almost every crypto that you possibly want, including XRP, which is breaking out as we speak again. And if you want to trade meme coins, then Terraport.finance is is the place and look at this uh one of the announcements that we just got liquid staking release ready for the new release so liquid staking coming to terraport.finance what does that mean uh, that means you're going to stake and then you're going to be given some liquid terra tokens and you'll be able to use them to trade even further and continue to leverage your position just a little bit but look at the crazy numbers that are coming out right now so on the earning platform i did stake again uh i'm i'm you know waiting for uh that next yield um, selenium 9547 uh, it averages out over like 60 days I was told so uh, probably gonna miss this one um, for right now uh, but I mean as you can see um, uh, if you have 10,000 Terra then you can farm this selenium uh, the new synthetics platform is a DeFi protocol powered by smart contracts on the Terra Classic Network that enables the creation of synthetic assets called selenized assets, uh, which, of course, um, liquid stake. Ta -da. So um, also uh, season, I don't have the stats right now, but um, it, it looks like the season is about to end or just ended for Rocket Crypto. So um, let me go check here real quick. Uh, wait, uh, we got uh, we got an announcement here uh, for anybody who is interested. And there is a 33% burn this Sunday. Uh, this Sunday, we are doing a $30 billion burn of boys token. Um, so if you guys are interested, uh, guys, 30 billion tokens being burned is gigantic. So... I would be looking at this as an opportunity for you uh, to, to 
um, to, to get in on something that probably will cause a significant pump because burning 30 billion tokens, 33% uh, of your supply should create a price crunch. Should. You never know, but you should also be holding some of the boys' token anyway. So if you're not already, uh, go to terraport.finance, grab yourself a bag of boys' token, and uh, just wait because uh, you know I think something big is getting ready to happen. If you if you have for some reason you don't want to go to Terraport, you can go to Coin Hall, but Terraport is my preferred landing pad. That's where I get all my meme coins. So um, that's it, guys. Look, I'm not telling you what to do. But I am telling you that Commonwealth, um, if you're listening to people who are telling you, well, validators got to do this. Validators are supposed to do that. Validators who don't do things that are supposed to do, those are the guys who are supposed to be jailed because they're crooks and they're cheaters and they're blah, 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 blah. Whatever bullshit line you get from, from people who are giving you these bullshit lines. Okay. Whatever those people, right? Guess what? They're doing the same shit. They're doing the same shit. And they think that they're the innocent parties. You should be validating, in my opinion, with the people who are having discussions on Commonwealth. So go to Commonwealth. If they're having discussions, validate with those guys. And by the way, it doesn't take you anything uh, to go over to Station right now. It's still active. To go over to Station and validate with whomever you want to, okay? You can change your you can change your validators uh, whenever you want. As long as you continue to have it staked, then... Uh, you can make those validator changes very, very easily. So go do that and validate with people who are uh, giving you what you need to know, and that is information, all right? Uh, I know I took a lot of time on this one today. Thank you so much for tuning in and encouraging me, if you will. This is not financial advice, but I'm always right. Uh, lunk breakout, let's go, baby.